Hello and welcome back. So as you can see, we're in a new set today and that's because we recently purchased a house. So I have been away for a couple of weeks waiting for sports to get back into session. And today we are going to jump into the new sports season by talking about what is in my camera bag. So not a lot is changing this year. I do see some changes coming to the bag later in the year, possibly. Um, that depends on how gear goes and selling and stuff. But I will be using the Canon 300 2.8 that I have right here. So as you know, this is an EF lens that I adapt to the Canon R6, solid lens. Um, it is not fully supported in the burst mode mechanically, but I can still use it fully um, with autofocus and everything. The only difference is um, if I go to electronic, I do get the full shutter speed, but it will give you some of that rolling shutter, so you gotta be careful with that. But super solid lens with football coming up and now soccer added to the college, this will be my go-to. The 300 is a very solid lens to get um, nice tight shots. So that is usually my go-to for football, um, baseball, softball on occasion. And so i um, really excited to get that back on the camera as I don't use it a lot in the off season because I don't really need a big lens like that. Then we go to the 70-200. I have the RF 70-200 from Canon. Super solid lens. Um, it does protrude out when you zoom out to 200, but it is stabilized. Um, it's a very small package, so with the lens hood off, it makes packing very, very easy. So it's always in the bag now that it's um, not super big. And so it's a super fast lens, very sharp. So always have this in the camera bag. And then we get to my third lens. And that is the Canon 24 to 70 F 2.8. Very solid lens, also image stabilized. And it's my go-to when I need a second camera for something wide. So typically if I'm running the 300 on one camera, on the second camera, I have the 24 to 70. Same when I go with the 70 to 200 on one camera, the 24 to 70 is on the second. So there is one more change and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. And if it gets here before, I'll throw some B-roll right here of that. And that is the new, um, I bought a grip for the Canon R6. So it's gonna allow me to put two batteries in there. So I'll get longer life out of the camera without having to switch batteries. And then it also gives me um, vertical. So when I go into portrait, um, I have all those buttons um, to my accessibility. So I'll have a shutter, I'll have um, autofocus selection and stuff like that. Um, I didn't go with the Canon brand on this, but I did go with an off brand. I can't remember what the brand is, but the reviews were good and it was for 90 bucks on B&H. So I thought, why not give it a shot? I don't shoot a lot in portrait mode, but I think having the extra battery life and not having to carry an extra battery in my pocket it's not gonna be that big of a deal to have that nice bigger grip on the camera. So really excited to use that this year. That will probably be on the camera that I'm using the 300 on the most because typically I'm shooting a lot more on that lens than I am the other lenses when that's my primary camera. So with that said, I hope you like this new set. Uh, still working it out, got a new video light that's a little more um, video driven, not just some LED panel that I'm trying to fuse with um, an umbrella or something. So got a proper light now once I get that figured out and where I want all the lighting and stuff and getting my desk set up. Um, the desk is put together for the most part, but there are some changes that I want to make, you know, figure out the right stuff um, to, you know, work nicely in my editing and gaming. So with that said, um, videos on the way will be soccer. Uh, we start soccer this year at Pitt State. So that will be something new that I'll be adding to the channel. Um, my experience shooting soccer, I've only done it like two or three times in high school back when I was shooting for the newspaper. And then we also have golf, but I'm not sure we're gonna have any home meets. So not sure if I'm gonna get any chances to cover golf. But with that said, I'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe. I will see you all in the next one.